I, I had to start over. But nobody is going to, that's not approachable is also one of my points. Um, I don't, I didn't mean for this to be so long winded, but one other thing that I, like, that was brought to my attention is I was praying again the other day. I was like, God, you, you just put so much on my heart and I don't know how to share it. And, you know, there's, like I said, there's just so many things that I, I feel like need to be talked about, need to be addressed. And this is one of them, like just being, being honest and really one of the best things I think to do would be if you don't understand something, especially like big social issues, just pray about it first. And then, I mean, it, obviously you have to work out your own views and stuff, but even if, <sighs> never mind, I'm not, I don't know. I just think this, like I said, although this is coming from me, this is things that God's put on my heart that I feel like he wants me to share. We've got to take a different approach to things. We are not, the world is going crazy. It is just like spiraling out of control. And mainly for the body of Christ, we are not going to reach anybody if we keep just throwing out all this crazy stuff. We've got to come up with better ways, more creative ways, I guess, to approach people. And I, you know, I think I said that word common ground is a big it's a big issue because nobody's going to agree on everything. And you want to start pointing out everybody's sin. How many times have we beat that to death? You, you cannot judge everybody, you know, well, you sin. It's all the same. And that's, that's true. And I guess we tend to forget that. And it just makes me so sick to just, you know, you're sitting there and pick somebody's life apart to the point where they want to commit suicide or don't feel safe coming out of their house when... You go to church every Sunday, but then you're watching porn every night. That's that's almost just as shameful. I mean, no, it is just as shameful. I mean, you know, whatever. So we're not going to get anywhere like that. We're just going to run ourselves and other people into the ground. But the last little thing I wanted to mention was... I was reading again about um, the armor of God, which is Ephesians 6, 10-20. And two things stood out to me. It wasn't even like going through the actual armor. It was what he said right before that. It says, verse 12 is, For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Now we always say you know, our battle isn't you know against flesh and blood, it's against you know, whatever. We always, but I, I, my point is we always jump to that last part, spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. The first thing is rulers and authorities. And especially in America, we've had so much going on with like politics and, you know, we've got this big presidential campaign and like Senate and Congress and that is just crazy. That's dividing people too. That's a whole nother can of worms. And I really feel like the devil is using stuff like this. Like he's using like, unfortunately, and I'm not saying like it's bad. I'm just saying he's using these fiery topics to take the body of Christ and turn us. We're, we're pulling ourselves apart from the inside out. Our unity, we're not united. I don't feel not as much as we should be or could be. There's not a lot of like mindedness. There's not a lot of, you know, positivity. And I, and I know it can't be all butterflies and rainbows all the time. I'm not saying that. But it can be a lot better than sending people to hell, which is where we're at, basically. And um, I think we need to just be more cognitive and, or more conscious about that. Like, think about things before we say them. And I definitely talk to myself on that one because I fly off the handle a lot and don't even think about it or whatever. And then the second, the second one that I want to point out was right at the end. I think it's like verse 19. Um, Pray also for me that whenever I open my mouth, words may be given me so that I will fearlessly make known the mystery of the gospel. There are so many things that we just don't understand. We don't understand how somebody can be gay. We don't understand why God would let these things happen. And God is saying... 
that's okay. There are things that you don't need to understand and you're not going to understand. You just have to accept that and unfortunately we have to deal with it the best way we can. And one of the best ways we can is just by praying about it. If we just take it and we say, God, this is, this is what it is and I don't understand. Help me. And I believe he will. If you honestly go with him with an honest, open heart, he's going to help you. And he's going to give you peace about stuff. And I'll give you a prime example. I got, I have some friends that I know from like community things and it's two men, two gay men, and they are some of the best people I've ever met in my entire life. And so they were getting married and, you know, they sent out the invitations and stuff and I had some like questions there, are you going to go? And I was like, well, yeah, probably. And then, you know, I didn't really feel any hesitation or anything about it. And I, I did kind of think about it. I was like, well... I don't, you know, like me, my own like views, I don't have like a solid foundation because I'm just not, you know, like I said, I'm not going to like be throwing fiery darts at people. So I did. That's exactly what I did. I prayed about it. I was like, God, this is, this is what it is. Should I go? Should I not go? What, what should happen? I didn't have any hesitation. And this came up again in my spirit. Like you can't love somebody if you push them away and whatever. And now you you may not feel that way. That's not for everybody. That's fine. But that's just what I did. I prayed about it. I didn't have any hesitation not to go. And when I went, it was a wonderful experience. So, you know, that's just my own little testimony to just praying about the hard stuff. And I'm going to I'm going to stop now cuz I know I've talked way too long. But the bottom line is to just be nice, especially if you claim to be a Christian, because you're not, you are not going to set a good example. We are not going to set good examples by just being mean and nasty. And if you don't always agree with somebody, that's fine. But don't be mean, just don't be snide and snotty just because you don't agree with them. That's not going to get you nowhere. It's going to make you feel better too, taking, taking the high road. <laughs> so that's my little spiel. I know that was a lot and I'm sorry. And if you watched all of it, thank you so much. <laughs> Thanks.